games. Now, we haven't always executed like we needed to. It hasn't always been perfect. The other team has good players, too. But I think for the most part, he comes up with a fantastic plan, and we just try to execute. So what kind of car were you guys doing? It felt like somewhere between a Ferrari and a muscle car. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there was some Ferrari aspects, but then we had a muscle car aspect, too, where things got nasty. What kind of head coach would he be? Uh, I, I don't know. He'll be he'll be a successful one, I would believe, if somebody gives him an opportunity. Um, I think he has a great great poise, a great feel for players, a great understanding of this game, a great football mind. But, you know, sometimes it's tough to get the opportunity you deserve. D was saying how stopping the run is a measure. It's, it's discipline. It's like... 11 guys not making a mistake without having seen film like do you feel that discipline was about as good today as it can get yeah i felt like our discipline was tremendous i felt like guys were totally locked in guys played selfless you know there wasn't anybody like oh man i gotta get this sack or stat hunting or anything like that that's the great part about this defense is everybody's so selfless you know it's, it's nice when guys get their recognition and get their plays but nobody's out there hunting nobody's willing to to break down the integrity of the defense for selfish play now you might give up a catch here, or you might—you know what I mean. You—you you might not get an opportunity. Okay. But if we're winning, everybody understands that—that that, that's what it takes. You might take on double teams all day, like Big Earl does. You know what I mean? But he's willing to do that, and that's—that's that's what we appreciate. You know, everybody's willing to, to play their part, regardless of how dirty the job is. All right, guys, let's let Sherman out. He already did the podium. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.